we have a chance now to, to take this to another level and get creative with some of the uh, esports brands and talk to them about the kind of students we have here at St. Peter's and then have them visit um, on the official visit and, uh, and unofficial visits and to talk to the students and engage with them. And the more they learn about them, the more we'll understand their needs and then we'll be able to play to that. And we'll also give students wonderful opportunities to do case studies with some of these brands because it's such a brand new industry. So the business side of esports is, I won't say it's complicated, but it's a unique situation in terms of the dollar amounts, the revenue that it's generated. Esports alone by 2020 would have generated close to two billion. My name is Sharice Ramos. I'm a junior in St. Peter's. I'm also a psychology major. If you look at all the schools around, esports is growing extremely big. So it's interesting because it's not professional basketball, it's not professional football, but at the same time, the business side of it, it is the number two most watched sporting event in the world behind Super Bowl. One of the things that I think is gonna separate St. Peter's from most schools around the country is that we're gonna only have uh, expertise in the classroom, but we're gonna have people literally from industry. Four of the top 10 franchises in a world that's most profitable, they'll be visiting the classroom. People that are casters, sports casters, they'll be coming to the classroom. We'll have pro players coming to the classroom. We'll have people from every aspect of the esports industry. We wanna make sure that the students get a fully comprehensive understanding about what the industry is. Some of the most unique things about esports is that anything around marketing, branding, uh, sociology, they're looking for people that are thinkers, they're looking for leaders, they're looking for people that, are, that, that can take control. Students have opportunities to get events, experience in event management, in terms of casting, being a sports caster, but they call them casters, maybe being behind the camera, maybe being an executive. One of the biggest opportunities is women. There's a, there's a lack of women that are in those spaces. Cloud9, 12 of the 14 people that are executives at Cloud9 are women. That's what separates this particular program at St. Peter's more than anything. And because of that, the students will be ready to have jobs and internships. St. Peter's Business School is one of the top business schools, not only in New Jersey, but one of the top business schools in the country. All the things that the students are learning from accounting, the marketing, the branding, to, to event management, and then now you incorporate the learning and understanding of eSports, and you now take those skill sets and apply to eSports, again, you have the making of something special. And that's what the industry is looking for, people that are serious, that are focused, that are forward thinking, but also have the um, understanding of, of just the basic principles of business. And then once they learn eSports, that just makes it even more powerful. Our students here at St. Peter's are, 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 are bright. And so the great thing is that we can get some of those students to, to engage with the thought leaders from these brands and then create opportunities for them that they didn't, that they didn't exist before.